Hello fellow boomers. Today uh, I'm building a chart to help put airfoils on boomerangs. Pretty much any style boomerang if you know the center of your boomerang. I came up with an idea last night for a chart uh, of circles and I put it on paper and we're gonna see how it works out. Okay? Okay folks, the first thing you're gonna need to do this project is a compass. Um, I've got one right here. I put it together last night. I swear it took me 25 minutes. Uh, and you may have this stuff laying around your house. If you are into making boomerangs, I'm sure you've got stuff like this kicking around. Uh, it's two feet long. It's a long piece of dowel. I cut it in half. At the top end, I put a nut and a bolt and some washers just to hold it snug. As you're traveling down about halfway, I've added a ruler with a, a slot I cut out on my uh, scroll saw. And I've on one side I got this knob to help loosen and tighten it that uh, opens it and closes it. On the very bottom, very simple. I attached a nail, I sharpened the point, and a pencil on the other side, just taped on, you know, fairly tight so they don't wiggle around. Uh, and have them come, come down out the same distance. Very basic. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to pull it off. It's my first one, so. Um, and it works really good, as you'll see. Okay, folks, it's all drawn out. As you can see, it's fairly large board by the uh, size of my hand. I did mine especially big because I'm trying to do the airfoils on large boomerangs, you know, some new ideas. Uh, and the one we'll be doing today is a new one I've, I've done a battle axe. Uh, almost two feet long, just a little over two feet long. Now, as we're looking down at this chart, you notice all the lines that I've drawn, I've put arrows telling us the direction that the air is going to travel across the boomerang as it's spinning, okay? The other thing you're gonna wanna know is the center of your boomerang. Uh, the best way I can tell is sometimes watching it fall out of the sky you can see where the center of the boomerang is and pretty much judge by eye or anything that is symmetrical like this one you can place it on your finger and balance it and this one here I, I already know where the center is my finger is under it right now it's between these two points so I'm going to set the boomerang onto a tack which comes up through the bottom of my uh, cardboard template so I'm going to set the boomerang right down on the center of that Okay, I'm going to give it a little tap, get it onto the tack. Now, this boomerang is right-handed, so it spins in this direction, okay, to hit these arrows. As it's spinning, you can see just how the air would travel across this boomerang. So this would be our leading edge because that's where the air hits. Anything on the other side is going to be our trail edge, okay? Now, this arm here would be fairly easy to do. Because we know, as we start down here, that our trailing edge is going to start out fairly wide because this is the furthest distance out. Now as it comes up, you're going to slowly taper in until you get near the center of the board. So as it, by the time you hit here, there shouldn't be any more uh, trailing edge. So start out small and slowly work your way up into a wide strip. Okay, probably halfway up. Now, the back half looks a little trickier. You can see as it flows which direction it's going in. The air is coming in, hitting this edge, so this would be our leading edge. And anything over here will be our trailing edge. Okay? So, we're going to figure it, you know, like this edge here, our trail, would, uh, would be, you know, about halfway up through and do the whole thing until you get down in near the center here. Start out small and work your way out wide. Uh, here just put a, your, your leading edge like you normally would with your router or however you use. Uh, you can do the same here. Put a little trail trailing edge here, another small one here, and another small one here. Because this is your leading. See, arrows are coming in and hitting. Same here. It's just pretty much the opposite of what we've done over here you're going to do over here. Uh, Air's traveling, hitting here. You're going to actually put your trail over here, your leading edge here. Uh, over here will be 
another long trail edge because it's the opposite side of the arrows. The arrows are on this side. Once you get that part of it down, pretty much any boomerang, once you find the center, you'll be able to use a round chart like this, but you definitely need to know the center. Uh, I came up with this idea last night. I drew out a little pattern uh, so I'd remember what to do the next day. And uh, we're going to give this a try. Now, I'm going to try this chart out. And if what I said is correct, and uh, we get it right, it, the boomerang should come back with fair ease. Nowhere near as hard as I had to throw that one over there. So uh, when we come back, uh, I'm going to show you exactly where I place the airfoil, and then we're going to go out and give it a test throw. Okay, back to show you the airfoils on a finished, uh, finished boomerang. I, I did pretty much like I said on the opposite sides. I did my trailing edge. It comes up, tapers near the center, and then works off, comes up again. Like I said, everywhere, you know, if it's spinning in this direction, everywhere that the air has to travel across here, the opposite side is going to be a trail. So I put a small trail here. You can see the arrows are in the opposite direction. There is a trail here, but I painted it. It's, uh, it's black. There's small trails all through here, which you can't see. They're just painted black. Uh, I like to do some of the edges and, you know, leave them clear to show off the, uh, the grain of the wood. Uh, another one here. So basically, this works great. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't my idea. I was hoping it was, but I've sh sh told somebody about this chart already, and they said that it was, one was already built a long time ago. Uh, so... Here's another version of it, I guess, uh, by me, and uh, I can't wait to see the other, the other version that somebody else did, just to, uh, for a comparison. Um, but, hey, give it a try. Um, see how it works for you. Worked great for me. Uh, I'll show you a little video of how it flies here, and that's about it. Have fun with it, everybody. See you later.